and the water is super warm and nice. It is really cold. Shh. We're gonna explore Taiwan and Taipei this time. We're gonna stay in Taipei City. We're dressed for a swim and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a place which is super easy to walk to even, but today we're gonna be using U-bikes. U-bike is the public bike system here in Taipei. They're everywhere, there are plenty of them, and they're super cheap too. It's around 10 NT for 30 minutes, I think. You just pick one up at one location and drop it off somewhere else, depending on where you're going. Super convenient. So how do you rent these U-bikes? Well, by now you should at least have a SIM card and an easy card. And that's actually all you need. At the end of all the U-bike stations, you will have this kiosk and you will need your SIM card or your Taiwanese phone number to verify your account. But after that, all the payments are done with your easy card. Some of us have not yet registered. The thing that I can mention as well is that one phone number could have several cards. So if you're only here visiting, one of your friends is already a member, you could use their Taiwanese phone number to sign up, which is great. If you're bringing family over as well, then the only thing they need is an easy card and then your phone number to help you set up. Only thing you do is to swipe your easy card. You just pull out the bike and it's yours to use for as long as you want. We now got our U-bikes. We're gonna get out from the Taipei traffic and then once we're back at the riverside, I'm gonna see if I'll be able to give you guys an update. Okay, so after a quick five minutes, not that interesting uh, bike ride, we're officially at the riverside and this is where our journey begins. Focus, focus. We're going to Xindian, which is on the end of the Green Line MRT station, but it's also the end of the riverside in Taipei. It's super beautiful. It's gonna take us around 50 minutes. So it's gonna be 50 more minutes of this, and then we'll be there. No, I'm just joking. I'm gonna flip the camera. You okay? Indian. This is how it looks like. Super nice place. This is actually one of the few places in Taipei where you can take a swim. Now, a lot of Taiwanese people are going to tell you that you cannot swim anywhere in Taipei, uh, but that is simply not true because here you're allowed to swim and uh, it's pretty nice actually. You just have to be careful because this is where people practice and compete in dragon boat races. So when you're in the water, just be careful you don't get run over by a dragon boat. Now we're gonna take a quick break here in Xindian, cool down a little bit, and uh, then it's back up on the bikes and go the other direction, up north. You want? What is it? You want? What is it? Like passion fruit, summer fruits. What is it? Summer fruits. What is it? Summer fruits. It says summer fruit. Do you like? What is it? Do you like? Not really. It's like fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You know I don't like plum. <laughs>
halfway up to Daoshui. We're taking a break. Uh, we're in a place called Dao Dao Cheng. It's uh, it's raining quite a bit, so we've been here on the roof for the last 30 minutes. We also see that they have boat trips to Daoshui. So we're thinking if we should either continue with our cold, rainy, miserable biking, or if we should uh, go and take a nice, comfortable, warm boat instead. So Tiffany wants to take a boat, I want to take a bike, so we're compromising and taking a boat. yet though because we're gonna continue biking for a little while 15 minutes more along the river to a place called Fisherman's Wharf and Lover's Bridge they have buses from Dan Shui bus station you can take a cab or as always you can always you bike lovely day today and I hope you enjoyed this video please if you did like it subscribe and also let me know if you like this by leaving a comment and tell us what we should do next time